Well then, Plan Watch Walk, the home of great walking and honest equipment reviews. So we're here today to have a look at the Keeler Ken jacket. We've been in discussion with Keeler and they sent through three bits of equipment for us to review. So we're going to be reviewing those concurrently. We're going to be wearing them together to see how they work together. But today's review is with regard to the, um, as I say, the Keeler jacket. This was designed and tested in Scotland for hill walking, skiing, mountain climbing, etc. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a look through the, the technical spec, a little bit of the fit. And as ever, if you've seen these before, we're going to take it out into the field, give it a good old going over, over a number of different walks, a number of different terrains, etc. to bring you the honest review, to be perfectly honest. So we start having a look at the jackets. The jacket itself is a three layer Aquaflex technology. So it, uh, it says that it is waterproof, windproof and breathable. So we will find out. Weight wise, 340 grams. So it's reasonably lightweight to be honest, which, which is nice. I would say that at the minute um, it's a two, three season type jacket, but we're gonna take it out and have a look at that. The pockets themselves, we can see here, they are um, the pockets, we have a bit of a close up on that. They are uh, waterproof zips and around the edge, nice feature, but also it's got a reflective marking around the edge. So what we'll do, we'll just put it on a little bit now and have a look through some of the other features. So as you look through, I always go for a jacket that's slightly, for me, probably slightly oversized. But this, they're saying, is a, um, an active fit, so it's a slightly larger fit. Lengthwise, underneath the cheek of the bum, so for me that's, that's a good starting point. This is an extra large jacket. I'm 6'1", so to give you an idea of lengthwise, etc. So if we have a little bit more look further at the zips, the zips themselves, nice free moving. So we've got a... Um, the waterproof zips, we've got two hip pockets, one chest pocket here, and we have a smaller inner pocket. So the zip, the, um, to the zips themselves. So if we take this up, so there's the hood up, and take this right away, apologies, microphones underneath, I'm not sure what's happening with the audio. So we've got a nice snug fit around the neck, which again for me is a good sign for weather, for wind, for rain, etc. The, um, the hood itself, as we can see here, the hood is an external hood. We've got a clip that sits around here, if I can find it. Here we go. Straightforward, unclip, and it folds out. So nice and quick, if the rain comes in and, and hits in really quickly, we've got a... Uh, an inner little inner flap here which sits around and makes it snug on the hood. I've adjusted this for the fit of my head currently. Again, apologies for the audio here. We'll lift that up. That's nice and snug around here again. We can tighten that more to pull it in. And we also have adjustments on the back for the, um, the hood, etc. So we'll just pull that off now. One thing else we'll have a look at my trusty old day pack so put the day pack on see how it fits with the day pack on so we just clip this up lengthwise hasn't pulled it up very little at all by putting this on quite tight here the hip pockets Again, we've got ready and access to these, so position-wise, looks good. Breast pocket also. So that's really good. Again, if we put this up, we've still got good feel and everything around here. One last thing, having a look at the, the, the cuffs themselves. Standard Velcro, pretty straightforward. What I do like is that it's slightly higher over the top of the wrist and pulled back underneath. That moves for movement, which is really good. These have got a small piece of elastic also inside here. 
and um, that means it just gives that extra little bit of movement so freedom of movement as we've got it on looks looks pretty good to be perfectly honest so what we're going to do now we're going to take this out into the field we're going to give it a good old going over different conditions different lengths of walks etc and we'll come back to you and feed back to see how it goes in the field so until then bye for now Welcome back. Field trial over. I've been out on about seven or eight walks plus and um, put in somewhere just shy of about a hundred miles with it. I've been day walks anything up to about 18-19 miles, been up fells across screes etc. So bits where you're needing you're not too sure on your feet you need to move quickly, all that sort of stuff. So that's really good. Weather conditions and um, windy up on top of hills rain etc so we'll, we'll come on to those in a minute overall how's the jacket performed well if i'm to say it's become the go-to bit of kit for me over those walks that sort of gives it away a little bit it really has performed and the top and bottom of it is why is it performed a really good bit of kit you sort of don't know you've got it on but it does everything it's supposed to do so I'll just go through some of the feedback that we've got. The slightly uh, wider fit, comfort fit, has worked well. So when we've got the backpack on, I showed you before, pulls round, that's great. Backpack on, very little ride, and maybe there's a little bit, as I mentioned before, going up scree or on fells where you're moving about quite a bit to keep your balance. Um, the adjustments around here and the cuffs, they haven't moved whatsoever, so that's really good. Um, in the weather conditions so the wind was it a wind stopper absolutely it was it you could feel the coolness coming through but that's to do with your base layers but the actual wind stopping characteristics very good in the rain very very good and when you've got the hood up and everything i'll actually show you what i'm talking about here what we've got as i said before really easy to put on what i did notice because of the adjustment again apologies here for the microphone where you've got the zip right the way up as you move your head some jackets don't do this but it moves perfectly with you so wherever you're looking up down left right your head's not moving inside the jacket so that works particularly well um, one last thing I would say is always have a look the environmental um, policies and procedures and sustainability of the manufacturers um, as ever Keeler do a really good job around there there's a link below if you want to have a look at all of that going back to review the, the jacket itself 340 grams really lightweight but also it's very good if you want to take it off and put it in the backpack it, it rolls up really really small so overall uh, it's lived up to its billing to be perfectly honest as I mentioned it's become my go-to jacket during this re um, review period of which I don't say lightly so good job Keeler as I mentioned before we've been reviewing a number of bits of kit at the same time so those reviews there's links to those sitting below so you want to have a look at those ones as well um, but overall the jackets performed really well downsides I'm struggling to find one to be perfectly honest it's really well thought out and does a very good job so I hope that's been of use um, if you like what we do why not subscribe you hear all about the different walks and um, kit reviews that we do